Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Task Scheduler is not running or starting programs properly in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best match should go back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Go ahead and locate the task scheduler service. So scroll down. Right here. Go ahead and double click on that. The startup type is set to anything other than automatic. You want to change it to automatic. And if service status says stopped, you want to click the start button. And then select apply and OK. And then you should go ahead and restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can go ahead here and try would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it from my description. It starts with SC and go to the top bar of the command prompt window here once you've copied it and right click on it on the top bar of the command prompt window so right click on it left click on edit and then select paste to paste it in hit enter on your keyboard now restart your computer and again see if that has resolved the problem one further thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu this time type in cmd you want to go right click on it and then select run as administrator again it might say command prompt so like yes just like we did with the previous one and you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front hit enter on your keyboard this will take a few minutes to run so just please be patient
Okay, so if it does come back of anything, you should restart your computer, and then again, that should hopefully be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.